We've all seen that Callaway have brought out their new Paradigm AI Smoke range of golf clubs. We've seen the driver which has been a big hit on a lot of channels with a lot of golfers. We've also seen the fairway woods do look fantastic. But I have a club here that could potentially be perfect for the everyday golfer. The everyday golfer that we have on our channel is here to help me test these clubs. And it's something that he has in his golf bag but maybe not as far down the golf bag as we're going to go today. And today what we are talking about is the AI Smoke Hybrid Irons. We have a seven iron here, which is something that our mid handicapper Dave does not have in his golf bag. He has changed at six iron. But if you are somebody who is struggling to get the launch you want from your seven iron, maybe you're a senior golfer, maybe you're somebody who's losing a little bit of speed out of your swing and you can't get the height that you desire to get the golf ball to stay on the green, then something like this could be perfect for you. Dave's lost a little bit of speed in the last couple of years, although we are trying to get that up with the use of his speed sticks, but he's gone hybrid from his six iron. We've started to get a little bit of a higher launch for the summer golf. He can get it landing a little bit softer, holding the green, and that's exactly what he has done this year. But for me, obviously, seven iron hybrid, how far is this gonna go for me? Certainly down behind the golf ball, they are fantastic looking. It's a great finish on them, certainly high launching. I have left that one a little bit out to the right, but that has gone, members bounce, oh, what? onto the green. So, carried around about 155 yards there. Will it go a little bit further? Let's start to see, that wasn't, oh, that was the first swing of the day. There's a little bit of a lower ball flight. It's going to go over the green because that was a much better strike. 193. So very interesting there. Two totally different ball strikes. One terrible strike, which has gone 153, and one that's gone 193. So a big difference there. And this is the only thing that I'd be worried with these golf clubs, which is why we're going to get them in our mid-handicapper's hands. Front to back dispersion. Yes, for me that I have leaked one to the right. It wasn't the best golf swing. But are you going to see a big difference from front to back depending on your strike? We know with a lot of people with your irons, whether you've got hollow bodied irons, whether you've got cavity backs, whether you've got muscle backs, you don't always see big deviations front to back. And that's what we don't want to see with irons, especially when we're trying to have these as irons that are going to hit the greens for us or hit a few more greens in a round of golf. Again... Towering ball flight, a good strike there, 173. So I've hit a nice consistent window there of 153, 173, and 193. So for me so far, maybe not clubs for me. And this is where you need to know what kind of golf clubs you are looking for. For me, these are designed to be high launching. Again, graphite shafts in there, maybe not built for my kind of club head speed. I'm not saying that that is fast, but I don't have as much control of the club head. I can't get that squaring up as well, but that's why we're gonna get them in the mid handicapper's hands and start to see, would this perform better than his seven iron or would his seven iron still be right for him? You've got to think, do you need something? Are you struggling with your eight iron, with your seven iron? Are you struggling with that area of your game? Then Callaway have certainly come into the market. But there's one big thing that this mid handicapper golfer won't like and that is price. So Dave is in now, I haven't told him the price yet because I want to get a little bit of an honest opinion from Dave before he knows how much or how little they are. First looks down, Dave. I think they look great. Yeah? It's a lovely shaped club. Compared to your 11 hybrids, do you think they look a little bit sleeker or just different? I think they look nicer than 11 hybrids, yeah. if I'm honest. Um, they're a nice looking club. The one thing I would say is, and I, I know it goes against what I've said before, the, the, the white lines on the face, because there's so much loft on the seven, you can see too much of it for me. Okay, so interesting. So down there behind the golf ball, Dave doesn't like it on these irons because it certainly shows that there's a lot of loft on there. If that was maybe blacked out, it might look a little bit more comfortable today and be less obvious that there is a lot of loft because this is set as a seven iron. From Dave here. We might have still got this set a little bit too far back, Dave. How far does your 7 iron normally go? Um, carry about 135, 
<laughs> rolls out to about 142 with a bit of luck. Yeah, so that's exactly what that does. So we're good. Dave's going to move us in a little bit on the Golf Sun Simulator. So one big thing that Callaway have done is added a lot of adjustability to these hybrids. So a very similar sleeve to the driver and the fairway woods. We can start to play around with our loft, play around with our shot shape. And we've also got a lot of technology, again, jam-packed with the AI face, which has been designed Actually going through a lot of golfers' data, getting different strikes, seeing where they need to maybe put a little bit more weights behind that face to get faster ball speed. And we've also got a tungsten weight in there to help us get that little bit more stability, help with the MOI, and get that forgiveness, which is exactly what you're looking from this club. Right, Dave's moved us in here to 142 yards. Sounded a very good strike, Dave. That was decent. Looking good. Landing very close and now going a little bit long. So pretty good here. We're going to hit a couple more from this distance. Then we're going to jump in with Dave Seven Iron and start to compare again. A nice towering ball flight from there. That exactly. really was high. Yeah. And exactly what you'd expect to see yeah. from these high launching clubs. Maybe not something that Dave would have been actively going out to look for. Drop kick again, but but for the everyday golfer, again a, a, a big drop kick there, but only just come up short, Dave. Exactly yeah. what you'd expect to see, but obviously trajectory wise, still pretty high, hmm. and, and that's what we want. People are going to miss strike irons as everyday golfers, but we've still got a little bit of trajectory. If that had to get over something, maybe a little bit shorter, it would have. That's again, they sound fantastic. They certainly sound good, Dave. Yeah, they do. And that is up on, on the green yeah. there. So carry wise, 134, gone 142, which is exactly which what is he said. About my seven iron. From your seven iron. So Dave's gonna grab his seven iron now. And these clubs should be in the fitting car. So if you're looking for this, you should be able to go and get them fitted. Really go through that process like you would with a driver, getting the right setting on the neck of the driver, making sure the weight is the correct weight setting at the bottom to get your optimum flight. Again, guys, going for fittings this winter and this going into this season. Please do think about what ball flight do you want to see and what ball flight do you actually need. Do you need something that launches a little bit higher, a little bit lower? And what kind of club edge speed have you got to produce that? That's going to have a big effect on what kind of design clubs you go for. Are they going to be muscle backs? Are they going to be blades? Are they going to be hybrid irons? That's what you need to think. But start to think about what do you need to get your scores lower 2024. So interesting, two of obviously we've got one on the green, one a little bit long and one short. So front to back dispersion, like we've said there. It's the same for Dave. That's a good strike straight away from Dave. Seven iron landing on the green, just going through the back. So nicely there. That has carried 141, gone 148. So a little bit of a pull, which will obviously affect that but it's over the trouble. Let's go again with the seven iron. That's a nice high flight from Dave there, strike wise. Decent. Decent and very close. So a towering flight there. Dave's got hollow bodied irons. He's still got pretty good speed to get that launch. And that's why Dave, well, he's had these irons for over a year now and he's really enjoying them. I do them. enjoy them. They are a nice iron. Everybody who's played golf at the same time as me has looked at them and said they look decent as well. Yeah, and a straight to consumer brand in Tacoma. Obviously, you can't necessarily get them fitted for you, but if you know your specs, again, they are certainly a great option. Coming in at around about £500, which does bring us on to the topic of how much are these hybrids? These ears are perked up. Can he hit the green again? No, he's pulled it. He's pulled it a little bit there. Has he got over? No. Ooh, I mean, it's got a bit of a lucky bounce. That's rich coming from you after that first hybrid you hit. How dare you, Dave. But interesting there, obviously Dave's proximity or his consistency was pretty similar there with mm. both of those. But if we put this into perspective, obviously Dave's Tacoma 101 tees did come in at around about 500 pounds, maybe 550 when he purchased them last year. But the AI Smoke Paradigm hybrids are coming in at around about 299 pounds for one of these hybrids. So yes, that is one. So you could get one and two thirds 
for a full set of Tacomo. So if you're thinking about getting those guys, obviously they are not the cheapest, but they're a fantastic option for me. You can do everything you want with them. You can fly them down, I managed to do that. I would just struggle a little bit with, obviously, front to back dispersion, but after a little bit of practice, I'm sure I could get used to that. But if you are getting a little bit slower in speed and you're struggling to get that launch, these are a fantastic option if they hit your price point. Any good, Dave? Yeah. He's on the green again. Dave just couldn't wait. 139 I think carry. I'll stick with my irons, Chris. So, guys, Dave's sticking with his irons up to his 7 iron, 6 iron. He's still up for debate for Dave. But if you're in the market, please do have a look at these. These are fantastic. Go and have a proper fitting with them. Make sure you go through all the options so they are perfect for you. Because, after all, they are at a very premium price. But, guys, if you're enjoying the content, please do consider hitting that subscriber button below and join us throughout this year, testing all the latest clubs, seeing Dave's journey. How does he improve? How does he lower his scores? And we'll see you tomorrow.